Those of us who live in the ice belt are pretty familiar with the ways that winter cold fronts can impact fishing success. On the front end, when it's cloudy and snowy, the fishing is often good, or even great. On the back end, however, when the northwest wind howls, the clouds disappear, and the temperature plummets, well, it can be hard to turn those lookers into biters. We had that exact experience a few weeks ago up in northern Minnesota, and Humminbird's Mega Live was a big advantage when it came to putting fish on the ice during a really tough bite. Let's take a look. Now what you're seeing here is a walleye that we encountered along a rock to sand transition. The rocks are on the right, in front of the Mega Live transducer, and the sand is below and to the left, which is behind the transducer. You can also see the underside of the ice cap running along the top of the live image. This fish is hanging around a pair of baits, a rattle spoon tipped with a minnow head on the right, and a fathead minnow rigged on a plain hook below a split shot on the left. That bait is dangled beneath a bobber, about five feet forward of the live transducer. Now you can see that this fish is not aggressive at all, but he's also not going away. With help from Humminbird's Mega Live, we followed this fish for around four minutes. During that time, he circled a bit, checked out our baits, but never really committed. Eventually, we switched up the spoon to a little larger rattle bait. Here you can see it falling down while the walleye checks out the fathead minnow. The walleye lets the fathead minnow swim away momentarily to check out the rattle bait, but then finally decides it's time to munch on that minnow. Here you can see him eat it and slowly swim away, but not too far or too fast. Here's what the bobber looked like as this was all happening. It never went down, not once. We only knew the walleye ate the minnow because the minnow and the split shot returns were both missing from the live image. So, we reeled up the rattle bait to avoid a messy tangle, set the hook, and fought that fish to the surface. Let's take a look at him topside, a nice 18-inch eater that promptly received the hot grease release. With help from Humminbird Mega Live, we knew that fish had finally committed after four long minutes, without ever dunking the bobber. Now that's a powerful advantage under any circumstances. Let's have a look at the Humminbird Mega Live settings that were used in this sequence. I'm using Mega Live in the forward-looking mode with an angle of 40 degrees. My sensitivity is low at minus one, but I can easily see my baits and of course the walleye and enjoy a clean, noise-free display. My contrast is mid-range at 10 and my dynamic contrast is set to one. My forward range is set to 15 feet so I can see beyond my farthest bait and my downrange is set to 19 feet, just a little deeper than this transition area that we're fishing. Well, I think that's a nice illustration of the power of Humminbird Mega Live Imaging in an ice fishing situation. Be sure to visit the Technological Angler again for more Mega Live lessons.